Hello, beautiful women. This is Eloquently Emmy, and welcome back to my channel. So, hey, today we're going to be talking about Dossier A perfume, and I'm so excited to be collaborating with them. They actually gifted me four different perfumes. They let me um, choose the perfumes that I liked, and um, and now I get to talk to you all about their perfume and about their company. And um, I'm so excited to do this. So hey, without further ado, <laughs> let's get started. Okay, like I said, uh, yes, Dossier A was nice enough to gift me with four different perfumes and um, I was just over the moon. I don't know if you remember, but a few videos uh, ago, I talked about um, five things that every chic woman should have. And one of them happened to be a signature scent. And I was like, wow, and here I am talking about perfume. It's just like you talk about it, you ask for it, you put it out there to the universe and <laughs> here it is. Here it is, I am talking to you about um, beautiful luxury perfumes. And um, I want to talk to you today about Dossier. So if you haven't heard about Dossier, um, Dossier is a perfume company that believes that everyone deserves to smell like luxury, okay? Okay, ladies, if you haven't heard about Dossier Perfume, they are a perfume brand that is reimagining some of the world's most iconic and luxury brand scents, okay? They are the fair alternative to the most luxurious perfumes. So I am so happy to um, present these to you. So I'm going to say this at the, um, at the beginning and the end, because I know sometimes it's hard to remember, and I'm also going to um, put it in the description of the video. But I'm going to have um, a code for all of my followers, and it's going to be called Eloquently Emmy 10. Okay, and with that, you are going to receive 10% off your order, okay, of the Dossier perfumes. And um, you will also, as a first time, purchaser received 20% off and you can use those two together. So you will get 30% off your order. Okay. So, um, that is really, um, that is really generous of Dossier. Um, and, and I want to talk a little bit more about Dossier perfume and, um, why I love it so much. Okay. Um, I really feel like everyone deserves to smell like luxury without having to break the bank, okay? <laughs> and, and, you know, how does Dossier do that? Well, they do that by cutting out some things, um, such as, um, like, a famous spokesperson, <laughs> um, really fancy um, bottling, um, and high-end advertising and high-end packaging and things like that. And then they pass that savings on to you, the customer. And, you know, they use the same luxury ingredients as the other um, luxury perfumes. So um, let's just, before I, I like go into individual perfumes, let's have a little history lesson. Okay, let me take you back to the French medieval times, to um, to Grasse, France, and then um, they the the tanning business, you know, tannery hides. They they were doing really well with all of that, and the the problem with that is it it smelled it smelled awful. Okay, so then someone had the bright idea of well, let's start. Um, growing flowers and scent, you know, creating scents and making perfume. Um, before that, it was, you know, in Egyptian times and Rome and everything, very big. But it really um, started to, to get big 
in grass France, and that tradition has continued on, and that is where Dossier and, and other um, luxury perfumes, you know, obtain their ingredients to create their beautiful um, and iconic luxury scents. Okay, well, by the way, I am wearing um, this lovely uh, dress from N Other Stories, but today is all about Dossier perfume, so I will be completely um, talking about this dress and everything that I accessorize it with in a fashion moment 50 coming up, okay? But now let's get back to the perfumes. So I just want to dive right in and I'll talk to you more about um, other things like catch and uh, some other things they have going um, for them. So as I said, um, every woman should have a signature scent. Now that doesn't mean though that you just have to have one scent. Um, it could be. It could be that. It could be that you um, are like me. Now I've had one scent for the longest time. And now that I've smelled um, this particular one, I really love, which is called Spicy Orchid, I am considering having a signature scent for um, the day, my working life, and having one for the evening. How do you like that happens? <laughs> because it's so wonderful. I'm gonna talk directly about that soon. Um, the thing is, I want to just say that the olfactory sense is so strong. It's one of our strongest scents uh, in our, our body. It evokes memories. Um, it, it just is tied um, to the essence and, and, and nuances of a person. And it is just so important. I, I really think it is. And, and choosing that really shouldn't be taken lightly. You really have to think about yourself. What are you drawn to? Are you drawn to florals? Are you drawn, are you a gourmand? Like, are you drawn to sweetness, okay? Are you drawn to deeper, warmer ambers and sandalwoods? Are you drawn to a combination of these things? These things are all very important things to consider. And, and um, you know, what are you all about? And it's just knowing that about yourself and, and testing them, okay? Um, and I'm gonna mention that and I'll probably mention it again. Testing is very important. Um, and, and Dossier does have a, um, you know, free return exchange. Um, if you're not happy with it, you can, you can return it. Uh, no risk policy, okay? <laughs> um, one thing about scents is that um, everybody has a different body chemistry. So where my sister will wear, um, she likes beautiful, okay? And it smells beautiful on her. It does not smell beautiful on me, <laughs> okay? And so you, you have to try things and, and see how they actually work with your body chemistry. They may work fabulous on you, but they might not have the longevity that you're looking for. Or they may have everything, which in this case, this one does. Um, so that's what's important. And um, also the whole thing of, of, you want the scent kind of to be around you. Uh, um, and we'll talk about application of the scent in a second, but it, it's kind of like an aura that exists around you. You don't want the scent to walk in the room before you, okay? You just want it to be in your personal space. Um, and that's what's kind of nice. That's, that's really how you don't want the scent to wear you, okay? You want to wear the scent. And you want the scent to become part of your own personal essence, just like we talk about personal style, okay, on Eloquent Miami. I really want to get started. So let me, um, I'm just going to talk about my favorite first. Um, so I'm also going to talk about, um, let me just talk about this. Then we'll talk about packaging. Okay. So this is the spicy orchid. Okay. And I just love this. It smells amazing. All right, so I'm just going to read the spicy orchid card to you. Um, mind you, 
I am wearing my contacts that are good for violin playing and looking um, at my um, camera controls and far vision, not for reading. But I think I can do this. Okay, so this was inspired um, by um, Tom Ford's Black Orchid. And, um, but this is Dossier's version of it. And the top notes are cinnamon, pink pepper, and mandarin. Now, pink pepper, don't get that confused. It's not like the pepper you shake on your food. It is like a winter green, okay? And then we have um, the middle notes being ylang ylang, okay? Um, orchid and plum, and the plum is just luscious in this, okay? And then we have base notes of sandalwood, vanilla, incense, and patchouli. And so I really hadn't um, tried these before. Now I went and tested them um, at the mall. <laughs> I wanted to see how close these came. And um, I will say that, that all of these were really close match. I mean, like undetectable close match. Um, so that, um, you can take that one to the bank. Uh, they, were, they were right on. You just smell one, smell the other. It was just like, it was great. So um, when, when you purchase them, you can have that confidence that you're really purchasing something that's gonna smell very close to um, to the the one that you know your that you had in mind to um, perhaps purchase, but didn't know that you can have another way to purchase it. Okay. So um, let me talk to you. When I put this on, um, and I'm just going to take one of my little scent cards here. And this one I'm actually gonna put on because I just love it. And just spray a little bit, okay? I'll just give it one more spray, I kind of missed there. Okay. Um, now this one takes a little bit to settle. Um, and it's, I would say, I would say spray on about five minutes before you, five to 10 minutes before you want it to arrive at your destination. But when it settles, you get those top notes. They are so, um, so beautiful. And they just, they just, they don't, you know how top notes a lot of times dissipate so quickly? Well, that is not, um, that is not at all what happens here. They just, they just hang in there, okay? And then about a half hour into it, you are getting that luscious, delicious. You're getting the other flavors, but you're getting the plum. The plum is really becoming the star of the show. And then about an hour into it, um, the vanilla, the incense, and the patchouli, they're really anchoring that fragrance. And I will tell you, this one has longevity like you wouldn't believe. I could smell it on me the next day. I could smell it in my clothing. It is just absolutely um, gorgeous. It's right on and the longevity is amazing. I mean, really with a lot of perfumes, you're really expecting maybe four or six hours. It's quite normal. <laughs> so to have it last into the next day, it's just, it's beautiful. You know, it's on your pillowcase. It's just so, um, this, this, this fragrance is just, it's just flat out sexy and beautiful. And it's just so, um, complex. And, um, can you tell I love it? <laughs> I just love it. I could just keep smelling it and smelling it. Okay. So let me just, um, let me just set this one to the side. And, um, I just, um, I want to talk about the, the packaging. Now the packaging is, um, the, the, they are so green, okay? I want you to love this company too because they are so green. Uh, recycled glass, um, minimalistic packaging, unisex packaging. Um, it's, and, and look at this, see this, is, I like this, magnetic, okay? It's really, really good. And um, for, for not spending a lot on the packaging so that they could pass the savings on to the customer, they've done really well, okay? This is lovely. This is all you need, okay? The magic is inside the bottle. 
It's not the bottom, okay? That's what I wanna say. Um, they're just superstars when it comes to sustainability, um, you know, greenness, and, and I just, I just, um, I just love that about them, okay? And um, just to show you too, the, it comes in a, in a box like this, okay? And again, recycled, very simplistic, very beautiful, with their logo on it inside. Okay, you can see how I set it up here. And it, um, let me see, let me just read it. It says, I iconic sense, um, designer, quality, no markups, okay? And then the card's inside and the bottle is just in that little recessed um, bottle shape opening there, okay? Just like that. And so I'm gonna spray this on me now, but I wanna show you where I spray a perfume and how I do it. Okay, so being that this is lovely, um, sort of a, hold on, I'm not sure what name was you there, <laughs> white linen fabric, um, I, I don't like to spray my perfume on um, my fabric. So uh, what I like to do is I'll give a little spray, light like spray here. You could do it on your um, wrist too. And then um, what I, I'm usually out of the shower with um, an unscented moisturizer. And then usually I will spray it right in here. I'm not gonna do it right now because um, I have this dress on but I will spray it right here because this is where I'm gonna generate a lot of heat. And um, especially when I'm, you know, when I'm working or it's just, it's just where a lot of people do. And then um, most fragrances, this, you know, this is just not this. Every fragrance is about 85 to 95% alcohol. So <clears throat> I shy away from spraying it directly onto my neck because I, you know, I use a lot of moisturizers. I want to keep my neck free of alcohol. So I like to spray it right here. I don't know what just happened to my voice, I'm like a frog. So I spray it here, okay, and here. And I do not pat or whatever. I feel like it flattens out the top notes. And um, and <laughs> I just wanted to spray some of this on because I actually adore this one. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna to have to put this baby back right now. I'm gonna talk about um, the other ones that I, that I did get um, from OCA. Okay, so let's talk about this one next. Okay, and I will get the card out too. Okay, so this is the Fruity Oak Moss, okay? And I absolutely adore this one too. Now, I talked about doing like, um, if I was gonna do two uh, signature scents, this, the, the one that I just had, the spicy work in, that would be my evening one, and this would be my daytime one. And um, so the Fruity Oak Moss, let me read the card for this, okay? So <clears throat> this is um, inspired by the Creed, Adventist for her Eau de Parfum, okay? And let's read the top notes, okay? The top notes, are green apple, uh, bergamot, and lemon. Okay, the middle notes are peach, rose, ylang ylang, and the base notes are musk, okay, oak moss, patchouli, and sandalwood. And um, let me just, yep. Oh, I've had the coffee here, which I definitely need because I'm exuding the, um, Working right now, so I am going to spray this. Okay, let's just get this straight here. Give it a good spray, and let's right back here. Okay, and this is beautiful. Okay, this is um, I mean, right away you get the top notes, but it's beautifully. It's so much, it's so much softer um, in its like, in its sense, but it's, it's got a soft complexity about it. If that makes any sense, it does to me. You can 
you can smell right through the top notes right away. It is, it's just, it's breathtaking. It's really, really nice. <laughs> this one is something you could wear. I mean, you could wear this all the time, but you could wear it to work. Um, this one is just gonna wrap all around you. It's gonna, it's, it's just got that, it's got the fruity top notes, but it's then it's got the more complexity, you know, of the rose and the oak moss and the sandalwood. And it's just, it, it's just done very, very well. Okay, I love this one. I would highly recommend it. Um, it, it, I would say that the, the top notes, they're gonna last in there for, you know, a good, 45 minutes to an hour, then you're gonna you're gonna reach into the middle notes, and I'd say this has a, about a six hour longevity until you you know may want to reapply, and and that's pretty darn good. So I absolutely love this one, and um, I think you'll love it too. It's definitely worth the trying, and um, yeah. So this is um, yes. The fruity oak moss, okay? So I love this one too. So let's put this baby back. And, um, all right, so moving along, what do we have next? All right. Okay, so this is, I wanted to try something different. And this one is the citrus neroli. Now this, um, I would say this is more of a unisex sense. I was going, I love, um, I love citrus. I'm just a citrus, citrus, citrus kind of person. But this one, um, I will say that this one, I like the least on me, not saying that it wouldn't be good on you and it definitely probably go well um, on, on a man. <laughs> That's what I was feeling about it. Um, so this one was, um, so this one was, let's see. It was inspired by Tom Ford's um, Neroli Portofino Eau de Parfum, okay? And let's see, the top notes are Neroli, of course, bergamot, uh, mandarin, and lemon. And you really, um, you really notice them in the beginning. Middle notes are orange blossom, jasmine, and lavender, and I love lavender. And the base notes are musk and amber. Was the musk that threw me off? I don't know, but not every scent is for everyone. And I'm not saying that it's not good. It's good. It's good. I'm actually going to spray it now. And um, yeah, it's definitely good, but it just wasn't my cup of tea. So that's why, you know, you have to, you know, give it a try. And let me get my stool better here. But it does smell so good. There's just something, one note on it that I just, it just doesn't, I'm not saying it's not good. It's just not like, wow, like these two are, he's not my sock sock. This is really nice though. It reminds me of the beach, okay? It's lovely. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna say about that. It reminds me of the beach and it's really nice, okay? So let's put this one down. I'm not going to do everything perfect here. I want to get to the last one. Um, okay, and the last one is called um, Ambery Saffron. Okay, so let's place that right here. And I'm going to um, read the card for that one. Okay. All right, so this one was in inspired by Maison Francaise Croque de Jean, okay? Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Parfum. Remember, I don't I have these glasses that can see for like contacts that are good for two feet away, so that's why I'm holding it like this. Um, okay, so the top notes are saffron, um, orange blossom, and then the middle notes are jasmine, plum, cedarwood, and the base notes are um, 
oak moss and fir, fir, fir balsam and amber. Okay, so this, you know, this, this one was really different. Okay, I'm going to spray it. Okay, just need a little refresher there. And I really liked this one. <laughs> I think it smells like that. Okay, I have to say, this one is fun. I don't know if you to say fun, it is. Because it smells like fairy floss. Do you know what fairy floss is? I lived in Australia for five years and fairy floss is called um, cotton candy, okay? It's so sweet. It's so gourmand and I don't think of those notes that I read as sweet, but when you put them together, it's piercingly, piercingly sweet and lovely. And I mean, if you just want to smell sweet and lovely, this one's for you, okay? This is absolutely beautiful. I can smell that fur balsam in it too. It's got it, and it's got a complexity about it, and it's got a decent longevity too, I'll, I'll tell you that much. Um, I really, I, I, I took a, a day to try each of these out. And I really did, I really did enjoy this one. It just, um, yeah, it's very, very, very complex. It's very different too. It's just very different. If you want to smell very different, very complex, very sweet, this one is definitely for you, okay? And again, this one is called the Ambery Saffron, okay? And um, yeah, I really did love this one. And, and a great longevity, as I said. I bet you didn't know there was so much to talk about uh, with fragrance and, and luxury scents, but there really is. I actually see fragrance as an accessory and a very important accessory. So I wonder which scents you are going to choose. Have you thought about that um, for your signature scent? And um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about, you know, comparison and everything and pricing. So when you think about Dossier's uh, perfumes, they range anywhere from the least um, expensive being about $29 to the most, maybe the Creed Adventist that I had over there that was like 65. Um, I think my orchid was 55. And then when you look at some of the other brands, um, they can range anywhere, you know, from, um, gosh, I wanna say like 80 to 280 to 300 and up. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> some of the ones that I have my eye on and different things like that, they are quite expensive for a full bottle. So yes, a full bottle, and I want a nice full bottle, not just like a little tiny bottle, I want a full bottle like this. What are we getting here? We're getting a 1.7 ounce bottle of perfume. And um, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so yeah, so basically in comparison, you are just, you are getting this beautiful luxury scent and um, you are saving so much money um, you're not going to break the bank and you're probably going to be able to afford more than one. And that's what I want to talk to you about too. They have such great deals when you buy in bulk. So the more you buy, the more of a percentage you're going to get taken off. So when you combine that with the um, eloquently Emmy 10% off code and then the welcome 20% off code, Okay, and then um, they have this, they've partnered with a company called Catch. Okay, so if you already have an account with Catch, then you know about it and you just sign up. But it's on the website, so um, you um, sign up with Catch and it will save you 10% every time you purchase, every time. Okay, so, so there you go. Um, that is um, a great savings there. So there's so many ways to save with Dossier. And um, yeah, I encourage you to, um, 
to, to sign up with Catch. And um, that's just, yeah, I, I love savings. And um, if I can save 10% every time I shop, I'm gonna do it because, yeah, I just, um, it, it's not how much you make, it's how you spend it. It's just a, a little um, savings that I have, but I, it, it really holds true. So that is um, a good reason to, um, to sign up for that and to, to shop in bulk and to use those welcome codes and to use my eloquently any 10 code, okay? You're gonna love this perfume. I absolutely adore it. And I also wanna say that Dossier A is continually adding new scents to their collection. So if you have any suggestions, um, yeah, just, just um, let me know. <laughs> I'll present them to them. Um, and, and yeah, tell me, you know, if you've tried any of the scents and which ones you like. And um, yeah, let's get some conversation going uh, in the comments. And yeah, um, yeah, what do you like? What notes do you like? What are your um, signature scents? Uh, I have two that I would love them to, um, to reimagine and create their version of. So, yeah, I'm just so excited about this. It's just like, um, it's like a scent adventure. <laughs> and I just, I love fragrance and uh, you've made this long through the video, I know you love it too. Okay, so hey, it was a real pleasure making this video for you. And if you like content like this, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. It was my pleasure and always remember to wear your sunscreen and to wear your beautiful signature scent luxury perfume, hopefully by Dossier. And always remember to live your life passionately. A little different than all the rest. A quiet old fashioned where I had sometimes played chess. And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage flame. But all complexions that I adore.